We're here with the uh, makers of uh, a film. Is this a full-length uh, film? Uh, full-length documentary. Documentary. Correct. It's called Huntington's Dance, uh, and uh, we've got... Uh, Chris Furby with us. And uh, what is your name, sir? Gene Furby. Uh, now you have to lean into the microphone. Oh, Gene Furby. <laughs> See, we told you that and told you that, and then you just sat back in he, your chair. He doesn't pay attention. <laughs> I, li I like to take it easy. Uh, Gene, are you the uh, father? I'm the father. Uh, and you are the son. Correct. And uh, Huntington's Dance is about uh, the uh, uh, disease that is hereditary, Huntington's... W uh, was it called Huntington's Dash... Cor it used to be called Huntington's Korea, yeah. but they changed uh, the name a few years ago. Did the country object? <laughs> <laughs> I think they did. It, it, it was with a C. It was up in you know, yeah. uh, up what? arms. Uh, and why, why did they change it? Because uh, marketing. There's about 10% um, <laughs> of the population who don't have the movements, and it's the juvenile onset, which is unfortunately wor way worse. Uh, the you know the earlier you get it, and they don't have all the movements. Maybe yeah. maybe back up and explain what Huntington's disease is for people. It's a hereditary uh, neurological disorder that affects the central nervous system, and it uh, it, it it can be very cause very violent movements in yes. uh, the people that have it. Yes, that's that's the word Korea, C H O R E A. As in choreo form, as, as in, in choreography, form, as in movement. St. Vitus dance. St. Vitus dance is it was called that at one time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, and uh, we had a news story as a matter of fact this week about a guy in Nova Scotia who has Huntington's disease and he was always getting arrested for being uh, drunk. Uh, and uh, it's a it, it's a wasting disease. A br is it w a brain wasting disease as well? Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. It, it well if it affects people differently. Um, my mom had a lot of movements, um, and her the way it affected her cognitively was she was in denial. Uh, she got into paranoia about you know people. Um, controlling her life and it was it was pretty difficult i've had other friends of mine who uh, families don't have any movements at all but uh there's a lot of anger so it, so how does it exhibit itself though if there it isn't the movements how can you tell somebody has huntington's disease uh it's <laughs> can, well, you, can you tell that chris has huntington's no well, I do. I've ha I've been probably symptomatic for about 15 years. No, you don't. <laughs> 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 which, which Thank you. I appreciate what? that. What are the symptoms? Uh, I have um, involuntary movements that, ha that happen. Um, my train of thought isn't as good as it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, my focus sometimes isn't that good. I'll you know, uh -oh. like space out in the middle. Uh, all, already, all three of those for me. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it must be hard. You have Huntington's. Diagnose. I'm worried. I'm concerned now. Actually, I'm, I'm not much of a hypochondriac, but you're frightening me. So, what yeah. will it eventually? Uh, anybody who who gets it, what will it eventually do to you? Eventually, uh, you will. Well, in my mom's case, uh, she was um, 54, and I had to put her into a nursing home because I couldn't take care of her anymore. And she spent the last five years of her life there and died of it mm. at, at, at the age of 59. It, it, I mean, it will... Now, you, you are the, the father. Yes. Did it not affect you? Well, I, I don't have the gene. It's a genetic disorder. So his, Chris's mom, her family, had ah. the, the uh, genetic uh, tra um, yeah. defect. And Chris has inherited that. Um, so it it eventually if you if will you will you always get it or will it skip? No, it does not skip generations. You know, it it basically will. You know, um, will it kill? And it 100%. will always k kill you. Um, well, the thing is, if if you get it earlier in life, yes, it, it will definitely kill you. You know, if you get it much later in life, you know, it, it you know you could die of something else as well. But mm -hmm. The n normal, you know, um, in my family range, you know, people usually live to be, you know, no, no older than probably 65. So did your mom know before she had you that she had it? Did she? No, no, she didn't know. She and that okay. was, that was, that's part of the story mm -hmm. of, of the film ah. that uh, Chris has made that tells that story. Because uh, her onset was later. And how it was discovered in, in Chris and I's family. 
at an earlier, he was like maybe five years old when his if, if grandfather became symptomatic and we started, that's part of the story of Huntington's dance, how that was discovered. Do you think if you and your wife knew that this was going to happen, would you have had children? Well, that's part of the story of the oh, Huntington's dance okay. is what happens when go you Go see know. our film. Uh, yeah, go see the film to find out. <laughs> and there are many opportunities to see the film. Well, w- let me just say this yes. about, about what Huntington's disease is doing. It's leading the way in, in the genetic research for all other genetically related disorders like really? Alzheimer's, uh, Parkinson's, uh, even perhaps cancer that are genetically related. And Huntington's dance is the cutting edge what, why of is this it? genetic research because Woody Guthrie's, uh-huh. Woody Guthrie's widow uh-huh. started a foundation that began to fund DNA research. Oh, so there's lots of money behind There was lots of money that was put into that, and the government's got behind it. Yeah, Chris. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, it's called Huntington's Dance, uh, and you can see you can it. See this see is it, a uh, slam dance oh, okay. uh, film. Yeah. So, so you can see it. There are just two opportunities to see it. That's at uh, 3 p.m. at the gallery on the 19th. That's Sunday. Wednesday, the 22nd at 7.45 at the gallery. Go, I guess if you go to slamdance.com uh, or org, <laughs> well, yeah. fi- you'll find them. Google will find them for you. Please, yeah, you please come and see my film. Yes. Uh, good, good luck with it. I hope you have a great experience here in Park City. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fascinating... I mean, it's a fascinating disorder. I hate to say that, but <laughs> it is. And, uh, and I hope that uh, uh, the research is, you know, someday they'll, they'll figure it out. They will. I just wanted to say that, uh, that the music for this film has all been done by our family. Oh. And cool. it, is, it is wonderful. Some of, the, some of the music in it is, is just is, terrific. Is there a place online where we could hear some? Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know if we even there's have, an, uh, I don't know if we've even put it work, up yet. Work on that when you <laughs> get home. Go to the film. <laughs> All right, we'll get that to you. All right. Uh, it is it Thank is you. slamdance.com so you can go All right. there. Thanks there you go. guys. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Thanks.